welcome to the third lesson on the Edexcel large data set, where we'll look at measures of spread and a cumulative frequency graph. How spread out are the temperatures at your nearest weather station? To find out, let's look at the range, the interquartile range and the standard deviation. Go to the tab for your nearest weather station for 2015 and split the screen. Scroll down to B192 and enter the maximum and minimum and then in B194 enter the range being the maximum take away the minimum. Enter the formula for the lower quartile which is quartile open bracket B7 colon B190 comma 1 close bracket and then similarly for the upper quartile using the number 3. Then go ahead and enter the formula for the interquartile range. Standard deviation is equals STDEVP open bracket, same cell references close bracket. Now you have three measures of spread, the range and interquartile range you've seen before, the new one being standard deviation. The standard deviation is 3.1 degrees centigrade, being the average spread of each value from the mean value. To get a deeper understanding of the standard deviation, we're going to check that value. Set up a new tab and call it Check SD. Copy across column A and B into the new sheet. Notice the formula will need the mean, so enter the description in A191 and the formula in B191. So considering the formula, we need to take each value x, take away the mean, square all the values, add them up, divide by n, and finally square root. So head up column B, x, and in cell C6, head that up, x minus mean. In cell C7, enter the formula equals B7 minus B191. We need to do a little tweak here by adding dollar signs, which will fix the value at B191, which is the mean. Now copy this formula down. Notice the negative values, which will be eliminated when we square them. In D6, enter the heading, open bracket x minus mean, close bracket squared. Another tweak here just to make the presentation look good with that superscript. Entering the formula I use equals C7, star C7 to square, and copy this formula down. Clicking on D7, hold shift, click D190 fill down. Add column D as you did last lesson and divide by 184 in cell D192. Finally take the square root in cell D192 using the formula equals SQRT open bracket D192 close bracket. For a cumulative frequency graph, we need to collate some data first to get the cumulative frequencies. So set up two new tabs, 
your nearest weather station for CF 2015 and 1987. Click on the tab for your local weather station for 1987 and copy column B to your new, new tab. We're going to collate the data into intervals of 2 degrees, starting at 8 degrees. Enter the formula in cell B7 as shown. So if the temperature in cell A7 is less than or equal to 8 and more than 6, a tally of 1 is returned. If not, a 0 is returned. Click on the input field for B7, highlighting and copying it. Then click on C7 and in the input field, press Ctrl V. Do this for the rest of row 7. Now manually adjust the values so they reflect the intervals. So enter 10 and 8 over 8 and 6 and so on as shown. Notice the 1 appear here as the temperature 14.6 degrees centigrade is in this interval. Copy these formulae down to row 190. And total all the columns, making sure the total adds up to the 180 four days for this period. Now to set up a table for the graph, copy the headings into row 193, add a start value of 0. Similarly for row 194, entering the formulae to create a cumulative frequency total. Collate the data for 2015 in the same way. Here's one I did earlier. And then insert a column just before column A. In cell A195, type 2015 and 1987 in the cell below. Copy across the data from 1987 and you'll need to use paste special here. Paste special values so that the values are fixed. And now for the magic of the graph. Click on A194 to L196. Click insert line graph line. a heading and label your axes. Finally, by looking at the 92nd day, compare the medians for 1987 and 2015.